हाय भाई वेलकम टू माई चैनल यहाँ पे हम लोग निकल रहे हैं प्रोडक्ट एडवेंचर आज हम लोग का सिल्वर लेवल अकेडमी है तड़ेगा में गूगल करोगे तो प्रोडक्ट एडवेंचर आपको दिख जाएगा चलो मिलते हैं सब रेडी हो रहा है अपना भी बाइक रेडी है लेट हो गए हम लोग साढ़े सात बजे का कॉल टाइम था यहाँ पे देखो सेवन ट्वेंटी नाइन हो गया है बट तो भी उधर आठ साढ़े आठ बजे तक आते हैं पब्लिक ऐसे नहीं है ब्रेकफास्ट भी रहता है वहाँ पे जब भी जाओगे आप कभी भी तो कोई टेंशन नहीं है पहुंच जाएंगे अभी फोर्टी फाइव मिनट दिखा रहा है यहाँ से ट्वेंटी सिक्स किलोमीटर है हम लोग नेटिव प्लेस करके होटल में रख रुके थे ये देखो सुबह सुबह का कम से कम मॉर्निंग काफी मस्त जगह है मेरा तो फर्स्ट टाइम ही है यहाँ पे <laughs> काफी साल से तो सोच रहा था आऊंगा आऊंगा अभी आया और कुछ भी बोले बाइक लेने के बाद इतना घुमाया ना बाइक ने मेरे को नेक्स्ट लेवल प्रोडक्ट एडवेंचर पहुंच रहे हैं हम लोग अभी जस्ट थ्री मिनट्स में ये देखो मस्त डैम ये साइड आओगे ना पूरा डैम ही डैम है यार ये प्रोडक्ट एडवेंचर पहुंचने से पहले थोड़ा सा ऑफ रोड है वो ऑफ रोड करके ही जाना पड़ता अभी हम लोग ऑलमोस्ट पहुंच गए ये देखो ये गेट है दो गेट है एक आगे ये पीछे पीछे वाला गेट है जहाँ पे हमारा सिल्वर प्रैक्टिस होने वाला है ये नीचे भी प्रैक्टिस है और यहाँ पे भी देखो ये जम से सब का प्रैक्टिस है तो नॉर्मली यहाँ पे स्टंट नहीं सिखाया जाता है बट सेफ्टी सिखाया जाता है मेनली तो पहुँच गए अभी सिल्वर के लिए अभी देखते क्या क्या अभी आज का प्रिपरेशन है ड्रिल्स कितना कितना है ब्रीफिंग मिलेगा अभी वरद मोरे से चलो Car, you have two tracks. Okay, 
okay? Am I okay with English, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No? Now I have two tracks, bike have a single track. <coughs> right? For vehicle to turn, or for to turn, it needs to initiate a V number. Right? Okay, so it has to be bringing into the turn. Right? So, we, all, all of us down here are unconscious. A motorcycle cannot turn without down Okay? So, what is counter here in fundamental simpler language? It pushes in the opposite direction where you want it to turn. If I want the bike to go left, I will turn it into a right. Okay, if I want it to go right, I turn it to the left. Pause that. How does that happen? Front wheel, rear wheel, right? When I push it this way, the weight falls on the inside of the turn. Then go outside. Correct? This. Okay? Getting it? Confusion happening? Very confused? Okay, like that. Now you put pressure on your foot and something like that. Break the wheel. What happens when you need? Keep it down. You want the weight of the bike and the counter, the center contact has to be as closer to the center of your tire than further out. Ready? Yeah, we have a contact pad. Correct? You have to lean that time on the check out pad. To reduce its reins, or make the turn tighter, you have to keep it as much possible towards the inside. So what do you want to do? You want to put more weight towards this section. After move on the contact panel. Abhi to sir, sirah hai. Then turning on left. Then turning on left. Correct. So you initiate this. You push the bar here. So today, especially when you do the brake drill, you have to start doing conscious counter. Abhi tak jo hoga tha, wo natural. Subconscious counter steering. Okay, what they also call this is quick steering. Okay, quick steering element is where you make an active push. You see that very often in road racing also. They make very quick steering. Yeah, they help you drop the bike, the bike turns and go. Okay, you might have been riding with your friends from past days. They suddenly turn and go. And you're like, that's like what happened. No, that kind of thing. That's a quick. So that's a conscious counter steering. Okay, charge explode this side. You're confused right now, Andrew. Explore it when you're doing what? Push the bar. Push the bar. No, everything. Remember what it's working for? Everything in motorcycles work in mm. Okay? Very minute input. Nothing active. You do not have to pull the bar or push the bar. So, whether to pull, push the bar or pull the bar? What's recommended? What do you think? Push. Push? Push. push. Both works. Push. 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 No. Again, so that's the thing. So Natural. both work, both work, depending on where you're riding, how you're riding. Where Road you're would be more of a this off road. Yeah, I think so pull becomes difficult if you are doing a rocky challenge like this. You have to climb, they can pull it. Stand the bike will react. I will pull my throttle, get the bike up. So this is my throttle, and pull will be much harder while pulling. Okay, then throttle is bigger, jump is more, and then pushing is more. No, if I'm climbing, I rather avoid pulling. But going down in, I want to put it a little bit because I'm not feeling in water. Yep. Now this is a drill. This is a practice. It's a little bit. It's a little bit. Our instructor is over and over. Look. It's not so easy. It's difficult. Okay, three, four.
भाई भाई यहाँ पे प्रैक्टिस हो रहा है अपने को भी करना है अपन भी करेंगे अभी जितना स्लो कर सकते हो ना वो अच्छा प्रैक्टिस है जितना स्पीड में जाओगे ना उतना गिरने का रिस्क है ये देखो ये तो फुल ब्लैंड होना है घोड़े के घोड़े पे कैसे बैठते हैं वैसा बैठ के और तो थाइस पे बहुत दौड़ाते हैं अरे बाप रे ये करने से पहले थाई मारने का प्रैक्टिस करना जरूरी है थाइस का थाइस पे बहुत दौड़ाते हैं पर ड्राई है अच्छा है मस्त धूप से ड्राई हो गया लास्ट टाइम हम लोग यहाँ पे आए थे ना फुल कीचड़ था यहाँ पे ऐसा घास उग गया था इधर वो अभी काटा है लोग ने
So while going downhill, maybe rocky section, I'll pull. But otherwise, I'll recommend push. I do push, okay? Personally, I do push. That way, it allows me to not include the throttle in my axle. That's all. Okay, so, uh, so far, today, any questions? So yeah, so when this happens, so you initiate a push and the vehicle falls this way. And at this point of time, we have to eventually realize that this moment, weighing the foot peg on the left to initiate that read, is complemented by this moment also. The thigh. Okay, to push it in a little bit. Okay? Only to initiate, not to grip. Again, you are not using the thigh to grip the bike, you are using this weight. Do I want to come dictate with me? You can come and dictate with me. All of you. So, yeah, so, yeah, I can show it. So, <coughs> straight, I'm going. And when the left going to happen, that's it. I'm just initiating it from here. Just for it. If I move, can you My legs are open. If you move, figure of it and slalom. Legs are open. But can I want to take a, initiate a tighter left turn? This is what I usually do. So, it allows your lower body to do more. More effort and allows you to keep your arms again loose. If you don't use your knee and thigh to move in a stronger direction, your upper body will become stiff. But you start using this, you see, I can almost make it straight. So you're expecting the rear wheel to slide out? Not slide out, it will hold it fine. It will hold it fine. Both the brakes are other again. I mean, normally initiating a turn, a counter to your why it was this way? It needs the weight to fall in. For the, uh, I made a post in which I don't know if you saw it on my Insta. Okay. This is where all your weight of the bike is, mainly. Okay. Now, okay, okay I'll show it from the other, other way. Around. Maybe this side. Now, when I push it this way, this weight is falling on this side. Correct? Centrifugal mm. force is pushing. So, up the ankle, you have the triangle there. Right? This side. Descend, descend. Here on the top. But whatever you do here will affect little and what you do here will affect more. On your foot peg, right? So when your bike is straight, like this, your weight is right now centrally. But the moment you start turning, leaning, the bike will start leaning this way. Correct? Like this. So now this weight is coming in. Correct? Now whatever I put weight over here, it will slide out. Like I do weight. Put pressure. The moment the bike starts leaning, I have to put pressure on the outside foot peg. What we do in figure of eight? Turn me right there, and we put the foot peg on the other side. Why? This is only initiate the turn. So now it's like this. So now you see my contact patch. The tire will be cut. Now it's a bit of a side knee touch. Okay? Now you see. Now my contact patch also moves. When it's straight, the contact patch is right under the axle. Correct? The moment I'm turning, it's moving behind. Mm. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Everybody seeing that? Yeah. It moved behind an inch and a half almost. And it's also got a thinner. Right? Mm. That is where the lean starts happening and the turn starts happening. And now to hold that, it now lean the you must be one of the other way, To counter that, you put weight on the other side. So that your bike is held in place. Now see it, I'll explain this way from the other way now. So if I'm turning, okay, left. Now again, my abhi nahi hoga yaha pe because stand laga hai wahan pe. But the contact pe hi move. Like yaha pe wah wahan pe bhi wahi hoga. It move back, right? So now I've initiated the turn. The vehicle is gone into the. I'm turning left. I'm putting all my weight over here, right? My left side knee is free. Figure of eight again. Connect the dots, yeah. So when I'm putting my weight over here, what I'm doing is I'm pulling the bike entire main weight under my feet. Whatever I do here. We determine how the bike behaves. Not what I do here. Not what I do here. Mm. What I do here. Entirely. Confusion? Anyone? Bolo bolo minna is kiri hai. Anybody have any doubt? Aaya pakka. Now your concrete bag is moved behind. So your weight has dropped in further into that side. Right? So now you have to weigh your outside weight so that. Now, exact reason why this is going to happen. I have a weight on the outside of the bike. I have a weight on the outside of the bike. This is the start. This is the body loose. Okay? This is where I am weighing the outside of the bike. When I am doing that, when I put pressure on this side, 
आई एम पुशिंग दैट वेट फॉरवर्ड डाउन टू कीप माय कांटेक्ट पेज लार्जर अगर मैं ये छोड़ देता हूं और ज्यादा रेंज कर दूं मैं कांटेक्ट पेज और कम होगा तो देखा हायर चांस दैट आई वुड वाश आउट सो दैट कांट दैट हैव आई विल गो पोजीशन फ्रीज द बाइक आई एम मीनिंग द बाइक बट आई एम आल्सो स्टेडिंग द बाइक सो इफ यू सी द बाइक इज अंडर मी टिल्टेड बट आई एम अपराइट आई एम परफेक्ट इन द आई एम नॉट गोइंग विद द बाइक लाइक दिस और ट्राइंग टू हार्ड टू गो आउट देयर आई एम ओपन दी किधर तो बदल जाओ ऐसे ये फॉर्म लाना है दिस इज द मेन फॉर्म दिस इज आल्सो व्हाट वी टीच इन ब्रॉन्स दे कैन पिक अप फ्रॉम देयर एंड टाइम्स टू एवरीबॉडी रिमेंबर दिस ओवर द बाय दिस एवरीबॉडी रिमेंबर आई होप सो दिस होल मूवमेंट इज फॉर दैट वन यू नीड काउंटर स्पीड और स्टार्ट सो द वेट फॉल्स इनटू इट योर बाइक स्टार्ट्स टू टर्न एंड क्रैक अ कॉर्नरिंग लाइन बट टू डू योर ग्रिप एंड फॉर्म ऑन द बाइक यू हैव टू पुट प्रेशर ऑन द आउटसाइड फुट बैक कंप्रेस That bottom out, then your tire operates. If you go, you guys have seen tank clappers and all. You guys also can come here closer. You guys have seen tank clappers? Yeah. Yeah. You know what happens, right? If the tire and suspension don't compress together, <coughs> that whole weight transfer, which should be a vehicle, a bike, weight transfer should always be lateral like this. Okay, this. It doesn't have sideways, sideways movement. So what happens? Instead of the suspension going up and down. They will compress at the axle point where the tire refuses to compress, and the suspension has probably ran out of compression. Okay, so then the weight, the transfer of weight, has no way to go. So it gets rattled between the forks. And what is the easiest moving thing after that? You no, know, steering. Now, so anything else move in this direction? You can't take nothing. That's where the tire clappers come in. So the weight has no way to go. It's caught between your axle now, and now becomes horizontal. So, so the weight which should be doing this up and down is now doing this, mm. right? Because from that, so why that from happening? You have to be more cautious about how you stand up and where you use your bike, entire suspension, and your body against suspension. When we spoke on going about this, you can get a hang, you can get a leg, you know, like suspension. The idea is not only to reduce fatigue on your health. Or just absorb the bumps. We also to understand the weight transfers, how they happen, and how to counter them. I'm standing, that means I have more ways to compress and adjust it than sitting down, right? That's why you see a lot of sports bikes have a lot of tank clappers compared to off-road machines or hybrid machines. So they don't have any stiffly strung. You're not standing up and riding them for more compression. You're sitting in the bike. If it goes like this, there's no way to recover it. Okay. So far, so good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Come on. Oh, the last part is a little confusing. Tank clapping? Yeah. How that happens? No. So, and the clapping. But does it only happen when you run out of suspension all the way? Next question. No. If you sometimes hit a uh, rock too hard, your tire doesn't get time to suspend, yeah. and your suspension also is almost bottomed out, so you can think for running. Like when we say long distance, what is the benefit of long distance? Yeah. What is the kind of benefit of long distance? Why are we always asking for long distance? So then more compression. Correct. We have a lot more travel, which can absorb multiple bumps and keep going without getting upset. Bike with lesser suspension will have a limitation to it, right? Or how much it can absorb and how much. It can okay. So that is the whole idea between having a longer. What we have here is more than capable for at least. A good run on any of our things, I will see it won't react. But I mean, of course, harder stuff, more than harder, faster stuff. It requires to act that faster. But it's tuned for more mix of road and off road. It's not tuned only for off road. Hence, it's got a mix of both. So you can't push it to that level of a hardcore adventure or motocross bike, right? So the idea of having a bigger suspension, basically, this moment is like ten point higher, so the magnitude is higher to absorb compression and not run out of compression. We are always in control, and there are no tank clappers, and the weight is not distributed unevenly, right? So that's one thing. Now.
को भी जाके वहां पे जाके ग्रिप करना बाइक को ये सब ले लो ठीक है ठीक है ठीक है देख लेगा मस्त है वो Thank you. 
अभी मेरा टर्न है ये सब करने का आयशा बस ठीक ओके okay. कैसे बीच में से जाओ आप या तो इंजन घिसेगा हां नहीं तो आप अटक जाओगे ठीक है अगर आप सही से भी बिना स्पीड करेक्ट मोमेंटम के गए तो आपको कंसिस्टेंट स्पीड रखना है और आपको हर टायर के ऊपर से आना ओके कोई भी लो लेफ्ट साइड आपके ऊपर है बीच में से नहीं जाना है बीच में से नहीं जाना आपके टायर के ऊपर से आना सब लोग वही के कोई टेंशन नहीं है ओके देखिए जो फ्रेंड ये बंद तो स्टेबिलिटी बंद साइकिल का ऐसा पैडल बंद किया तो भी टायर में पैडल रहेगा तो ठीक है जान पे जाता है आदमी देखा ये सामने देखो आगे वाला बस पास हो गया पप्पू पप्पू अभी हम जा रहे हैं ट्रेल के लिए एक अभी रिवर क्रॉसिंग भी रहेगा वो भी करना है मट्टी मट्टी उड़ रहा है दिख रहा है ये केटीएम नहीं है सामने वाला एक्सपल्स है शायद <coughs> ये वो प्रोडक्ट एडवेंचर वाला कोई तो बंदा रहेगा जो उससे आया
पूरा धूल धूल उठ रहा है यार कुछ दिखता नहीं है ज्यादा बात रहेगा तो गैप से जाएगा तो अच्छा है कोई खड्डा आ गया पंप आ गया ना किट मार देगा गाड़ी अभी जो खराब रोड पे भी इतना स्मूथ चलता है ना गाड़ी बोल नहीं सकते एकदम तो स्मूथ हर ये ग्रेवल जो है ना उनसे संभालो टर्निंग के टाइम खासकर बाकी सब ठीक है अंडर वाटर जाना है पानी से फुल देखो अरे अरे गिर गया गिर गया चलो कुछ नहीं कुछ नहीं वेरी गुड वेरी गुड निकला 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 रिवर क्रॉसिंग करने के बाद हम लोग सब ने फोटोज निकाले और रिटर्न निकल गए सर्टिफिकेशन के लिए तो ये कुछ फोटोज है जो फोटोग्राफर ने निकाले हुए उसके बाद सर्टिफिकेशन हुआ और हम लोग निकल गए मुंबई के लिए रिटर्न तो अभी तक वीडियो में रहने के लिए थैंक यू वेरी मच वीडियो लाइक लग रहा रहेगा तो यार प्लीज़ लाइक करो यार शेयर करो सब्सक्राइब करो बाय बाय टेक केयर